Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one play, Frampton Nuttall arrives at the Sappleton's home, where he is unfamiliar. Vera, a self-possessed 15-year-old girl, greets him and says her aunt, Mrs. Sappleton, will arrive soon to greet him. Frampton reflects silently on his recent relocation to the area, which he refers to as a rural retreat. His sister, who used to live here, was concerned that he would isolate himself. As a result, she wrote some letters of introduction so Frampton could meet some of her local acquaintances. Frampton, for one, is concerned that these social visits will aggravate his nerves, noting that he is currently undergoing a nerve cure. Frampton reveals his lack of social contacts in the area, as well as his sister's efforts to make introductions for him, when Vera inquires. Vera then observes that Frampton and his sister would be unaware of Mrs. Sappleton's great tragedy, three years ago. Frampton confirms his ignorance on the subject and expresses surprise that tragedy could strike such a peaceful setting. Vera motions to a large French window that has been left open despite the chilly October weather. Frampton wonders if the open window is connected to Mrs. Sappleton's tragedy. Vera tells the tragedy's story. Mrs. Sappleton's husband and two younger brothers left through the French window three years ago to go snipe hunting on a nearby moor. Given the previous summer's wetness, the softened earth swallowed up the three men, who have not been seen since. Mrs. Sappleton, in her grief, keeps the window open every day until sundown, expecting the three men to return from their hunt with their brown spaniel. Mrs. Sappleton has told Vera about how they left, with her husband carrying his white coat over his arm and her brother Ronnie jokingly asking, Bertie, why do you bound? Vera trembles as she finishes the story, at which point her aunt bursts into the room, apologizing for her tardiness and wishing Vera had been amusing. Mrs. Sappleton then remarks on the open window, stating that she has kept it open in anticipation of the return of her husband and brothers, who have gone snipe hunting. Frampton is horrified to see her grief-stricken fixations as she continues to discuss bird hunting. He tries to bring up other topics, but Mrs. Sappleton is uninterested and continues to stare out the open window. Frampton discusses his nerve cure, which consists of rest and avoiding mental and physical excitement, though he notes that doctors have not reached an agreement on the proper diet for those suffering from nerves. Mrs. Sappleton barely holds back a yawn in response to Frampton's tedious remarks, but then her face brightens and she exclaims, at long last. Frampton is disturbed by this delusional display and turns to Vera for consolation, but Vera is looking out the open window with a look of dazed horror. Frampton shifts his gaze in the same direction. From across the lawn, three people appear to be approaching the open window, all three carrying guns and one wearing a white coat. A brown spaniel keeps a close eye on them. Bertie, why do you bind? One of them finally asks. Frampton grabs his stick and hat and dashes out the door, across the driveway, and into the street, nearly colliding with a cyclist. Mrs. Sappleton's husband inquires about the man who just dashed out the door as the three men enter through the window. Mrs. Sappleton tells him about Frampton Nuttall, a most extraordinary man, who spoke only of his ailments and then left, as if he had seen a ghost. Vera calmly explains that the spaniel must have scared him. She claims Frampton told her about his fear of dogs, which he developed after being chased by a pack of dogs and forced to seek refuge in an open grave in India. The story's final sentence emphasizes the story's animating irony, romance on short notice was her specialty. Thank you for listening to our book summary, I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.